press the return key. You got a MacBook from the online store. You got it from the eBay as a used MacBook or as a fairly used, whichever way, or you were gifted by a friend or family, maybe from the overseas or whichever way, but you are not the one that bought it brand new. And you are trying to set it up, you select the country, the English you want, maybe you use, you select... You use English as the main language. Yeah, I'm in Nigeria, you select Nigeria, then you click continue not now maybe let's connect to network let's connect to my network we are heading somewhere in this video i want to show you how to bypass remote management lock should in case you got a system as a gift and it is locked to an organization or you bought it and it is locked to an organization in this video i'll be showing you how to bypass it without spending a dime let me input my password trying to connect to my network i'm not sure if i got my password record correct note that this is just for this video is just for educational purpose nothing else now what are you seeing remote management this mark is owned by so 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 remote management is required and we allow this organization to set up email and network account install and configure apps manage the settings of this mark now if you say you want to enroll it your privacy will be compromised this mark can actually be erased without notification everything you're doing you will not have privacy they will be seeing it so meaning you don't have access full control over this laptop for you to bypass this to have full access because you're not linked to the organization you don't know about these people for instance this particular system was gifted to my friend so she wants to set it up and she saw this she had to call me and i told her this is what we'll do without spending a dime all you have to do for you to bypass this to make the long story short power off this system hold the power action option till it goes off keep holding it till it goes off now this system is off if you are using the inter based model all you have to do to enter the recovery mode is to hold the command r and if you're using the silicon which is the m1 m2 m3 all you have to do is to hold the power button so if you're using the m1 model for you to enter the recovery mode you have to hold the power button if you're using the silicon if you're using the inter base model you hold command r so we are going to be holding the power button the it enters now it says continue holding for startup option. Now it's loading the startup option. It's already entering the recovery mode. Don't forget, if you find this video helpful, helpful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more amazing 10 content like this. Now all you have to do is to tap. Now you'll be seeing these two, the marking touch and the option. Click on the option and click on continue. We are heading to the recovery mode i'll be choosing the english i'll tap on continue now we are inside the recovery mode for we to bypass this particular um mdm there is a code you're going to be typing but for you to type this code one you have to be connected to the internet then go to your safari and click continue now once you're inside this place tap on this plus icon to open a new page tap on the plus icon to open a new page all you have to do i'll be displaying what i'll be typing on the screen after the end of this video tap on http you put look at what i'm putting you put the dash dash you put you type on www dot git 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 hub dot com they put the slash you type the a s s a f d o r i you put the slash then type by bypass because you want to bypass it bypass i'll put this thing on the screen bypass then you type 
MDN. Now hit enter. It's gonna be taking us to the site where we'll copy the bypass code. Now we are inside this place. You can increase the screen size. Scroll to we come to this place and copy. It should be showing copy. I don't know why it's doing this thing. It should be showing copy. And let's go back to the Safari and click continue. Click on um, I think my network is bad. Click on a new page and type in the same prompts http slash two slash ww dot git hub are you seeing it dot com then you put slash a s s a f d o r o i slash by pass m d m they hit the enter button we'll be waiting for uh, sorry guys my network is slow it's opening I think I'm having a bad network. Come to this place, you see this particular link under this place after the sixth script below. Copy it. See, I've copied it. Close it. Quit the Safari. Once you quit the Safari, it comes to your utility. This works if you're using the Intel and the Silicon model. Just tap on the terminal. I'm taking it slow and steady so you understand what I'm doing. Once you open the terminal, paste that particular prompt you copied and hit enter. Now it said M bypass MDM from recovery, reboot and exit. So we want to bypass the MDM. All we have to do is to press one and hit enter. Now we need, all you have to do second, hit another enter. Hit another enter the third time. The third enter we we'll show you the default password that we're going to be using to create the temporary user because this user we're going to be creating is for us to bypass and have a temporary user and have access to the system to create our own user the password as you're seeing is one two three four now all you have to do is to type now that you've gotten the password hit enter another enter which is the fourth enter it said creating temporary user so it's creating a temporary user so we can have access to this system successfully block mdn and profile domain how do we now get to get access to our system notes this video is for educational purpose and if you find this video helpful by the end of this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also share to your family and friends to help others now all you have to do is to type reboot hit enter the system is going to reboot so we can have access to the temporal user then we can now create our administrative user so the system is coming on so let's wait for it to come on so we can have access to this system and start enjoying our system this is the best way to bypass a system that is locked to an organization without spending a dime it will just cost you only to watch this video the password we saw on the on the uh, on the terminal is one two three four hit enter this app we are seeing is just a temporary user that was created by the uh, mdm bypass so we're going to log inside the system to create our administrative password so we can have full access to this system note that this will only work it will never stop working except you deactivate this system or reset this system and whenever you reset the system just take the same procedure to bypass it and continue enjoying your macbook this works on all macbook from 2016 2017 to 2023 2024 no we don't want to set up with iCloud so we'll click letter we we'll skip we'll continue letter the Apple intelligent blah 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 continue letter I'm not setting up fingerprint this is just for educational purpose continue so whichever mode you want to select continue welcome to Mac 
wow we've now had access to our mark continue as you can see we have access to our macbook now let's see what model is this this mark is an m1 20 2020 so what we are having now is the temporary user for us to create our own user which is the administrative user just go to your system settings if you're using the recent mac os or go to your system preference if you're using the older mac scroll down to user and group now tap on this add user input that password one two three four hit continue so how, how do you now set up your ad administrative password come to this place you see new user that is on standard select administrator then type the name you want to use i'm going to be using tech corner this is the name then impute password i'm going to be using one two three four five six verify the password one two three four five six then you can put password in to create the user as you can see it's adding the user so how do we now have access to this administrative user which is known as the tech corner just close up go to your system log out of the the, the temporary user now we are logged out click on this icon this is the third corner this is the apple this apple is the temporary user and this is our main administrative user so we want to log into this admin to this main administrative user to delete the temporary user so we don't have to account tap on it impute the password we use one to six continue don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you find this video helpful and also share comment whatever question you have on the comment section i'll be there to reply you at any given time now setting up same way we did before same procedure continue letter skip continue letter note that this is just for educational purpose only if you find a friend who you can actually use this to make money if you're into tech you can use it as a student within your area to help your friends to bypass and collect small dolls continue 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 letter just a red voice the colors of the sky fade with the setting continue. sun as not the stars now. begin to shine through the clay continue. night I'm not trying to set up with touch ID, so continue, continue. Welcome to Mac. Now we now have full access as the administrator of this Apple MacBook. Click continue. As you can see, we are now we are no longer a temporary user. We are an administrative user. So for us to delete the administrative user, the temporary user will had the the mdm created the bypass created come to your sentence to your system settings and scroll to user and group now this is our administrative as you can see it is the tech corner and this is the temporary user that was created for us to have access click on it click on this more icon which is the information click on it click on delete impute the password one to six click on now for you to delete the everything just delete this delete the home folder delete now we now have access the full access as the administrator of this macbook nothing is holding us back if you find this video helpful smash the subscribe button 